gives us no is money moments just money 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 because we work for money we work with money and we work beside money because it's all about what you are looking for it's all about what you want it to give peace for you man it's about money and speaking of money we are with one of the biggest artists as i had mentioned earlier this artist when he has the collaboration he has done hey, imagine kufanya wing 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 big wins collaboration he's just going to tell us you've had some music you've had some teaser of music of what he has done and what he's going to do here and what he's continuing to do because this guy is just a voice carrying a lot of weight in terms of music in terms of production let's go get him what is his name and he's representing which town hello sir hey what up yeah hi hi i like the energy <laughs> it's 6 a.m. where I'm at. <laughs> oh, yo, I understand. You had your big Mac coffee over there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so welcome, welcome to KUTV here in Kenya. My name is Small Kev. Uh, what, what, what's your name for, for, the, for, the, for the person who is watching you for the first time? And what, who would you say you are? Uh, my name is Harmony H. Money Samuels. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and entrepreneur, and uh, I've worked with everybody from Ariana Grande, Chris Brown. Uh, oh, wow, 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 nice, nice, nice. I, I like I like how, how vibrant you are. Hello, Mr. Harmony. It's mine. So in a, in a few moments, you're going to have him on board, just some technical, but just to highlight some of the things that this guy has done, this guy has done collaboration with big artists. Let me just, uh, just read a sample through of the things that he has done. Imagine being in the same room with the biggest star, the queen of R&B. You see, being in the same room with the biggest stars in R&B world, being in the biggest room with the biggest stars in hip hop music, being in the biggest stars, Oh, man, let me just let me not just spoil. Let him tell him, Mr. Harmony. Yes, sir. Oh man, man, we had lost you in a few, but I understand technical hitches over there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. Okay, so you are telling us what uh, who you you prefer, uh, who who you are, and uh, which uh, which which state or rather which town you are at the moment. Yeah, I'm in Los Angeles at the moment. Ah, oh, wow, wow, wow. So when was the first time you knew for sure? This is what you want to do, music production and also music writing and also music artistry. Yeah, I think I was about 13 years old Yeah, when I was in church mm -hmm. playing music and that's when I was like, yep, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, I was born and raised in, in London, the United Kingdom. Okay. And, uh, but my, and my parents are Nigerian, so uh -huh. we was heavy in church. Uh -huh. And uh, and so that's when I fell in love with, you know, the idea of being a music producer and writing music and, and making music. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I've been pursuing it ever since. Wow, wow. I, I think I think most of us, we, we don't give church credit, but I think most of our talents there, we, 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 we knew them when we were either in church or so, but in, in church set up, and it's a very humbling thing and now on to my yes. other question is do, do, do you between between london and uh in usa and also in africa how have you yeah. how is the music diversity uh relating to you it's uh, i mean i feel blessed mm -hmm. and honored and, and honored that i'm able to mm -hmm. partake in in three different cultures you know the uk music scene yeah the american music scene and the african mm -hmm. music scene i think it's a blessing mm -hmm. um and so I've been able to, you know, utilize those skills to create some great music that bridges the world together mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. are, 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 we, are we seeing a place where you're going to come and perform in Africa? Oh, for sure. I, 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 I'm, I listen, especially East Africa. I, I got love for East Africa. I can't wait to come over there. Now, please welcome. We have our arms are open for you because the music that you you do and the music also that you've produced is just music that we li we listen to and we relate with. And that's that's, that's a thing that I want to understand from you. Do you have like a process? Do you get your music from inspiration or the things that you live by day on day? 
Yeah, I mean, it's all it all begins spiritually for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of the time, mm -hmm. if I meditate, you know, if I'm meditating, I hear things in quiet. Mm -hmm. When it's the most quiet is when I hear everything. Mm -hmm. uh, when and so mm -hmm. it starts in silence, and mm -hmm. then I start to work in my mind about mm -hmm. the things I want to create. Mm -hmm. I envision it, I envision it, I manifest it, and mm -hmm. then I go into the studio and start creating it. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you, and yes. also, in speaking, I think that that's also relate to how you you are able to merge with big stars. Uh, just to mention yeah. Chris Brown. Hey, how <laughs> how did that collaboration come about? Uh, honestly, uh -huh. he came. He came. He asked me to work with him on his album. You strong. I you strong. Yeah, <laughs> is I was very fortunate. I was. Uh, uh -huh. I was. At, I was at a video shoot and. Uh, he was at the video shoot and okay. he loved the song that I produced mm -hmm. for that for that song. And uh, so he came up to me. He's like, "Did you produce the song?" And I was like, "Yeah." He said, mm -hmm. "Man, we gotta we gotta work." Mm -hmm. And I thought I thought he was joking. And mm -hmm. then you know, a few months later, I was in the studio with 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 Chris Brown mm -hmm. and uh, and and actually the first song we ever did yeah. was a song called Champion, mm -hmm. and Champion featured a rapper from the UK called Chip. Mm -hmm. And so that was our, that's kind of how that relationship began, and then we went in and and then we worked on mm -hmm. you know the the Fame album, which was an amazing experience. Oh wow, wow, nice. Yeah, just just to hint, what what's what what's the song behind? What's the story behind Champion? Because it's a it's a song I've listened to, and I would want you to tell us because you know you artist, you like to just find a high, <laughs> very many meaning out of that song. What is the song about? Uh, champion is about surviving yeah. and and thriving mm -hmm. and making it through. At the time, mm -hmm. I was uh, at the time I was wanting to give up mm -hmm. music because I'd been trying for so long. Mm -hmm. And um, and Chip Chipmunk mm -hmm. in the UK was you know he was transitioning from a teenager to a man, mm -hmm. and we were just all going through so many changes. And I was tired. I wanted I wanted to give up. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when we did this song, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, that the song just was like, you know, we were born to be champions. Everyone, we're born to be great. There's mm -hmm. greatness inside of us. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. so so when we sent it to Chris Brown, mm -hmm. he, he loved it because he had gone through some trials and tribulations, as we all know. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time he had spoken about how he felt about what was going on in his life. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so that's when we did the song Champion. So Champion is... It's a song for champions, you know what I mean? Everybody's a champion and we believe, we believe in that. <laughs> champions, but, but but you know also like us as an Arsenal fans, you know, like we are champions, just saying. Me too. UK. I'm a fan, man. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm an Arsenal fan, man. Don't worry. Thank I'm you, sir. Thank man. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, noticed your, I noticed your sweater. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why, you see, that's why we are connecting because we are Arsenal fans. We never fail, just yeah. telling them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Ghana fan. Also, I, I like fan. how how the song <laughs> relate with survival because uh, this month it's a uh, suicidal awareness month, and uh, when I was listening to it, that's the thing that clicked. on oh, yo, we go through very many changes. We we highlight yeah. ourselves, we push ourselves, but then we are we are not able to give ourselves credit of the things that because also failure make us strong. Yes, they do. They do. But I'm I'm. I'm and and that's why I'm here today because mm -hmm. all my failings mm -hmm. push me to be better, and mm -hmm. and, uh, and now now I could be an example for everyone else. Wow, wow! I, I like I like I like how you're saying. It. Now I want to come okay. to the song, the the giant, the okay. elephant in the room. Tick, ah. tick, 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 <laughs> tick, tick. What is tick ticking? <laughs> Yeah, everything is tick ticking. You know what I mean? <laughs> Time is ticking. Yeah. Money is ticking. Uh -huh. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend's ticking. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Whatever you, whatever you want to tick, it can tick. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what's the inspiration behind tick tick? Um, we just wanted to get people to dance. Yeah. And you know, come to, you know, come together. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a way. You know, I you know, I took some Arabian strings, which you know. I sampled, you know, Neo sampled a song with Fabulous mm. back in the day. I did the same thing from the same mm. place. Mm. And we just wanted to make a song that brings people together, mm -hmm. get people connect, connecting, dancing, mm -hmm. and, and, commun and communicating. So 
you know, that's what we did, and it's doing that. The world is ticking right now, so mm. we good. Mm. I, I think I think when you were born, your mother just made a prayer and said, this guy is going to be a champion because the people you feature have been sharing in all your music. How did you get Ricardo on board? Listen, <laughs> listen again. God, man, like, um, I, I was in, he came to LA to work on his album and I'm actually working on his album. Yeah. And then I played him the song and mm-hmm. he was like, I said, yeah. He said, what are you doing with that song? I said, I, I'm going to, that's for my album. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he was like, please, oh God, beg, let me be on this one <laughs> with you. I said, uh-huh. I said, let's, let's go, let's do it. Uh-huh. Let's do it together. So, uh-huh. so that's how that collaboration came together, you know? Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, I think you, you're just a blessed soul. Uh, when I grow up, I want to be like you because you're just <laughs> attracting positive energy. <laughs> Amen, man. Yeah. God blessings, man. Thank so, you. <laughs> so just give me so two lines from Take Two. Uh-huh. Just two lines, a cappella, and then we go we go next to our, to our next question and no conversation. Okay, uh, two lines. Two lines. I've been waiting all day, waiting all day. <laughs> we are waiting for that thing because I like we are waiting for that money we are waiting for that energy we are waiting for that collaboration with an African artist mostly a Kenyan artist who is that artist that you'd want to collab with Ooh, you're gonna have to tell me bro you're gonna have to tell me who I should collaborate uh, when I when uh-huh. I come to Kenya you you guys that direct me on who you feel I should collaborate with and then Please, I'll we, definitely we, we do are that. on. We are on because we, we have a lot of uh, raw talent here in Kenya. And also yeah. that's also a thing that I, w- I want to give you an assignment. Just go listen to some Kenyan music and then connect with them. Check who is going to vibe with your energy. And then once you come here in Kenya, we're going to give you a variety of artists for you to collab with. I love that. I can't wait. I'm excited. Okay, so, so thank you. So where can people find you if they want to stream your music and also if someone wants to do a collaboration with you, if you, someone wants you to produce their song? Oh, yeah, just my my, my handles mm. on social media is Harmony Samuels. Yeah. H-A-R-M-O-N-Y-S-A-M-U-E-L-S, Harmony Samuels. Mm-hmm. And um, if you go on any all platforms to stream my music, is H-Money, H-Money, H with a dash and then M-O-N-E-Y. Mm-hmm. And you'll see see my music, you know, up there and all my collaborations. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, we, we're also super excited for having you. I hope next time we're going to have you in our studio because virtually I would want to just connect with that energy and just know more about you. But because of time, yeah. just want to tell you, uh, do you have any other project that you're expecting this year? Yeah, we got Ricardo's album. I got my album dropping next year. I'm uh-huh. working with Neo. Uh-huh. Uh, got Road to Me. Uh-huh. We got some records with Janet Jackson coming. Uh-huh. You know, we got some some great songs coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, also, my director here is asking, "Hey, you're a big star. What's up with the new YouTube channel?" We. Yeah, working on that too. <laughs> yeah, please, please, please do. We might be thinking we are being catfished by someone. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah, so all the best, sir. And it's a humbling experience having you. I hope that once you come, you land Kenya, you'll be the first station you're going to visit us. Thank you. You got the cheers, man. Bye. Money, you won't take my money. Heavy something, baby, put it 